guys, well, welcome to another Smith Expedition. This has been uh, a year to forget, to be quite honest, but yeah, we're really excited. We're making our way to Trans Sky, uh, to the Wild Coast, and we've never been there on holiday. It's our an annual holiday, and we're really looking forward to it. So yeah, we haven't posted something in quite a while, but yeah, as you can see, we're packing wood. We're taking everything that we need, we need to take with us. Um, so we're really looking forward to some spectacular fishing spots apparently. Uh, we're going to a place called Tribal Retreat and uh, we're really looking forward to that. So yeah, we're packing the bucky, getting everything ready and um, thanks for joining us guys, this is going to be awesome. Morning guys, well it's 3am, I just um, made some coffee and um, we're just about to hit the road. First stop will be Port Elizabeth, going to wake up the kids and get them in the bucky. Always remember this when I was little, my folks waking me up before we go on holiday, get in the car and get moving. So here we go. That's it guys, so yeah, here we are at the Nanaga Plaza or farm store. Uh, just decided to stretch the legs um, just on the other side of Port Elizabeth uh, or Sunday's River. So yeah, I think we did about 150, 60 odd k, so still a ways to go. But yeah, this is an awesome spot. If you ever want to try out the rooster cook, probably the best in the country. couple of kilometers or last 50 kilometers is going to take an hour or so but yeah we decided as a family that we're going to split ourselves up in two teams uh fishing teams and uh, myself and Mama! So, and peter and his dad yeah, so it's yulandi and matthew and peter and myself and uh the challenge is whoever catches a cop first on drop shot that that's the deal um, so yeah Rain is started to come down, we saw according to the weather prediction that it's going to be quite rainy this week but um, it is what it is um, and yeah, we're really looking forward to it, we're going to enjoy it. Um, never really fished uh, the John Sky before and um, it is really well documented and well known that it is such a diverse fishing spot um, here on the wild coast so really looking forward to it. But we're almost there. Guys, as you can see, it's coming down in buckets, and we arrived here probably around one o'clock. And um, yeah, we've been greeted by this lovely weather, so it gave us an opportunity to get the rods ready, prepare them for tomorrow. But yeah, if you can't take them down to the beach, they'll make a plan. So just pick that out. Morning 
guys, we just uh, woke up, especially after yesterday's rainstorm that we had. So I couldn't do a lot, um, so yeah, we just prepared the rods and um, we moved the crab last night out of our bedroom. And that is the one which is greeting us this morning here on the doorstep. So yeah, I'm sure you'll only just show you, but yeah, it's, it's quite a big one, quite a large one. But yeah, we're looking forward to the morning, going to explore the coast and the stretch that we've got here and yeah hopefully we can get into some fish do a couple of hikes and um, just do some exploring this is our second day here so yeah but first up some coffee I will be the ghillie or the guy today and hopefully I can get the family onto some decent fish. So here we go guys. <music>
unfortunately, you only lost that fish. Um, I suppose it must have been a cob or a shad, a big shad, because uh, um, I saw it in the waves quite close by, and it just turned, and as it turned, um, it just bit the line off. So the hook trace is a 0.75 millimeter that we're catching with, and um, the only thing I believe that's got teeth sharp enough to cut it clean off like that is probably a big shad or maybe a cop. Couldn't quite make it out. Um, but yeah, she had a good fight. So we see what's going to happen now. Um, probably make our way to another spot. Um, it's pushing for high tide now. But yeah, we had some good fun this morning. Some decent sand sharks. Peter managed that juvenile muscle cracker. Uh, but yeah, we're hoping for cop. Uh, we had our chances this morning. I managed to lose something. I don't know what it was. And then uh, obviously Lundy as well. So yeah, at least and at last some action. The southwesterly finally chased us from the fishing spot, so we're gonna make our way back to our spot. Thank you for joining us, guys, and join us for the next mission. We're gonna go out a little bit later on this afternoon. Hopefully, this um, the wind is gonna die down a bit, and uh, we'll see you guys in our next session. guys well the boys are still sleeping so welcome to another session we're gonna make our way down to the spot that we were yesterday morning uh, where Yulandi lost that big fish and we managed to catch the two sand sharks so yeah hopefully we're gonna have more luck the wind has died down a little bit of rain is still in the air but really looking forward to it hopefully this morning we will get on with something proper but yeah we're taking Yulandi and little Leah and we're gonna um, tried to catch some cob so here we go for the morning on poacher so I'm going to release this one hopefully we'll get some cop or something else that we can eat tonight so yeah thank you thank you
So that's it. Uh, Peter managed the smaller sand shark, so that's two for the morning. Uh, and yeah, hopefully there's some cob around in between them. But yeah, Peter is going to release this one. And uh, not a bad start, but yeah, we're hoping for some cob. Now, well, guys, that's another sand shark. Uh, they put up a decent fight, but that's not what we're here for. I think this is number six for our trip. Um, but yeah, beautiful day. The morning really turned out spectacular. We're going to persevere, and uh, if there's not any cop coming out, then we'll move to the river now. But yeah, at least some action. They're absolutely beautiful. Let's get this guy back in the water. That's it, guys. No joy, no luck there at the river mouth. Making our way back home, or to our spot, our bungalow, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna have a beer, an ice cold beer. And we'll see what the rest of the day holds in for us. Probably make our way further down the coast in searching of that elusive cob. Until the next session. morning this is our last day here uh, travel retreat it's quarter past five and yeah we've got a nice day ahead of us it's a beautiful morning this morning so yeah like you Lani said unfortunately guys this is our last full day here uh, travel retreat and we're really looking forward to it we met up with a local guide here a fishing guide called Linto and um, he took Matthew and myself for a short session uh, fishing managed the sand shark uh, weather wasn't that great and um, yeah, I only managed to guide my family onto some sand sharks, a whole heap of them. I think in total we caught 10. Yeah, that's correct. Um, so yeah, we decided to get in some of the local knowledge. Um, these guys have been fishing this area their whole lives and they know exactly what's spotting. So hopefully Olinto will get us on with a nice decent cob uh, this morning or during the course of the, of the day. Um, he will hear us ranting and raving on about catching cob, catching cob. But this is such an awesome place and I will definitely be back here. We're just sitting here relaxing, taking in the view. What a breathtaking view here from uh, this bungalow uh, where we are at, um, which is really nice. So yeah, we're expecting Linto at 7 o'clock um, and then for a fee he will take you the whole day. He will take you fishing, he will bait up for you. It's quite a different experience, something that I'm not used to. Uh, but yeah, I decided I will be taking the filming gear and camera equipment and I will see if Linto can get Peter, Matthew and uh, Yulandi on with something decent uh, but you yeah, are really enjoying it this is such a great place if um, if you're not into fishing um, you can just sit back relax take in the nature there's birds around uh, breathtaking views uh, we will definitely be back here that, yeah. that's for sure and I think what is very awesome as well is the local ladies will come and they will come sell some local stuff uh, we bought a couple of things for Leah for myself and um, yeah they such a colorful nation yeah we had quite a laugh when we um, <laughs> when we met up with Linto and we made our way um, to the western side of the coast and there's a place called uh, Dolphin View Lodge something to that effect and that's the first time Yulandi met up with Linto and she asked him what did you catch and he said, well, we catch fokop, fokop. And she didn't understand it. She asked him, but, but what's a fokop? What's a fokop? And at the end of the day, we realized it was four cob that they caught. So yeah, hopefully Linto will get us on with our fokop 
the <laughs> morning of the day. Lento uh, a little while back and uh, we at the Koga river mouth you guys just saw the river as we came here and according to Lento this is the spot to be with the weather the way that it is at the moment so according to him um, the weather is for long like he said and I'm going to introduce you to Lento just now these guys so this is Lento and he's taking us fishing today so you'll be our guide and um, yeah, he really knows this area like the back of his hand. Been fishing it uh, since he's been a small boy. Um, so he's got a wealth of knowledge of this stretch of coast. And yeah, we're really privileged to have Linto with us today. And um, hopefully, we'll be catching some edible fish, some cob. Um, yeah, we've got a full morning ahead of us. And thanks for joining us, guys. Linto, you think there's going to be fish around? Yeah, I'm going to catch cob today. Yeah, okay, so Yelani just uh, bought an octopus from this lady. Uh, and uh, Linto said, yeah, we need fresh octopus. So, um, yeah, bought it for 50 bucks. Got some fresh bait or fresher bait. Uh, so yeah, let's go catch some cop. Yeah, so we arrived at our spot here and um, we met up with some of the locals. Actually two guys that uh, we met up on the beach uh, during the week. And they're just fishing here on, on this side and um, uh, the one gentleman just caught a really nice cop. Uh, there's another two that's lying in a pool here. So it seems like we're at the right spot and uh, we definitely with the right people so yeah what a privilege to fish with the locals here um, nobody around here except for us and the locals which is really cool um, so yeah looking forward to it
barcode and this nice getting finally because I broke off a few times and I didn't tie but it was worth it and I thought it was really nice getting but although I knew I gave a really nice one at the second I thought this was gonna spoil me but it's So what a brilliant day, an awesome fishing session. Yulani caught catching two cob. The boys on with their first garricks on paddle tail thanks to Linto and this was just an absolute brilliant day. We had to make our way back to travel retreat. Unfortunately the southeasterly wind just blew us right off the fishing spot. But yeah, our hearts couldn't be much warmer and we couldn't have asked for a better day. So it was off to have a nice ice cold beer and we were in for yet another treat. So yeah guys, uh, we had a really successful day fishing and uh, managed some cob and Virginia spoiled us with some oysters so the family is enjoying some really nice oysters here. The natural way, salt, pepper, a little bit of lemon juice and there you go. And um, yeah, I think uh, this will be Yulani's next best thing. So there we go guys. <laughs> That's better. Excellent. Thank you for joining Smith Expedition on this awesome experience. Breathtaking views, untouched beaches and some of the best fishing that I've experienced. The land is said to have been bequeathed to a local chief who helped Queen Victoria in a battle or helped ship their crew. Not sure which story is correct. This is a rare piece of land in the rural Transkei in that the chief's family owned the title to this land. The two ambitious large thatch rondals were built under the direction of what is rumored to be a wonderful eccentric lady and a partner who was a doctor. Word has it that she even brought a grand piano across the Gora River on a rowing boat. Till the next Smith Expedition. Thank you for watching guys. Please like and subscribe. Till the next one.